One of the highlights of Taiwan's aviation industry this year was the announcement that Starlux, the brand new airline founded by former Eva Air CEO Chang Kuo Wei, will start flights in the beginning of next year. While one Taiwanese airline is set for a brand new beginning, another has shut down in the latest chapter of its struggles during a span of the last two decades. This airline is Far Eastern Air Transport, a domestic and regional airline based in Taiwan, which admittedly I have very little familiarity with, but its profile was raised as the shutdown was announced on Taiwanese media as it caught the attention for its abrupt shutdown as the airline and its CEO are now under scrutiny from the Taiwanese government. For many of us who are not familiar with the airline, Far Eastern Air Transport is the first and oldest airline of Taiwan, founded in 1957 and is currently based at Taipei's Shengshan Airport. After initially operating charter flights, it began international services and would become a strong player in the Taiwanese domestic air travel market leading up to the 1990s. At present, it has a fleet of around 12 aircraft operating flights to 19 destinations including cities mostly in Taiwan and China, along with cities such as Jeju, South Korea, and Da Nang, Vietnam. The airline's current fleet consists of ATR-72 turboprop aircraft and MD-82 and 83 aircraft. After its prime period of domestic travel, in the 1990s and 2000s saw more competition and the opening of Taiwan's on-island high-speed rail service which cut into the domestic air travel demand of Taiwanese airlines. And it was during this time by the mid-2000s that the airline was experiencing some financial difficulties. After failing to pay a loan to Ayata, the airline entered into its first bankruptcy in 2008 and the airline would shut down during that time. Now you would think this would be the end of the story but Operations would resume in 2011 after a nearly three-year hiatus, but with its struggles still lingering, the airline again made its shutdown recently in December of 2019, affecting over 3,000 passengers who mostly book through agencies, and according to some reports, over 27,000 tickets have been refunded. Because of the abrupt nature of the shutdown, the airline appeared to have violated Taiwan's law requiring companies to report a mass layoff such as in this case, at a minimum of 60 days before the actual event. Now in the press, the CEO of the airline, Chang Kang Wei, has, re has reportedly stated that the airline is seeking funding for the airline to resume services, though as of now no confirmation of any reception of funds has been made in the press. This second shutdown of Far Eastern Transport within the last two decades comes as other airlines have come and gone in 2019, with many including myself predicting that Hong Kong Airlines could end in the same fate before the year's end, though this one admittedly caught me by surprise. At first, but after going through some press readings, I found some contributing reasons such as the competitive nature of the aviation market in Asia. But this is further exacerbated by the small size of Taiwan relatively compared to the other countries in Asia, with a land size of just over 36,000 square kilometers. It's just around one-third the size of New York State, and with a limited domestic market, with options such as rail or driving around with your own car, the real opportunity for Taiwan's airlines has been the international market especially connecting travel with EVA Air and China Airlines seizing these opportunities and becoming the dominant players of Taiwan's aviation industry. Another factor to its demise could be an over-reliance to its key markets, especially China, which has proven to be a double-edged sword for not just Far Eastern but also the other airlines of Taiwan. With the political differences in Beijing and Taipei, this market could go up or down based on the whims of Beijing, which a few months ago imposed a travel ban for solo travelers heading to Taiwan. The airline in its prime never adapted to the growing changes of the aviation market, while Eva Air and China Airlines did on their path to becoming premier transcontinental connecting airlines between Asia and other continents. Lastly, while the financial situation has been mentioned, the other factor to Far Eastern's demise has been the deteriorating reputation of safety for the airline, as Taiwan's Civil Aviation Authority has recorded 31 violations of safety standards by the airline, leading the Taiwanese government to impose flight hour restrictions, limiting the services and crippling the ability for the airline to expand. And this was enforced in May of this year, when it had to cut flights from Taipei to Da Nang in Vietnam and both 
Puerto Princesa and Calibo in the Philippines, it's often very rare that airlines will get a second chance for a reprieve, especially after a airline shutdown. And Far Eastern is one of those airlines that are the lucky few to have done so. Though this not has translated to any success as the problems of financial difficulties have continued to plague the airline, along with Taiwan's geography that heavily favors airlines who have strong international networks. While Far Eastern is looking for that third lucky strike, this probably may not happen, and this shutdown could be the latest and final nail to the situation at Far Eastern. Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.